During the initial 0-12 hours, the body primarily utilizes glucose from the most recent meal as its main energy source. As the body consumes available glucose, insulin levels begin to decrease. Decreasing insulin signals the body to start accessing glycogen stores in the liver for energy. Glycogen serves as a readily available energy reserve when dietary glucose is depleted. This process ensures a continuous supply of glucose to maintain bodily functions during the initial post-absorptive phase. As glycogen diminishes, the body initiates ketogenesis, producing ketones from stored fat as an alternative fuel source. Ketones serve as an alternative fuel source when glycogen stores are low. Growth hormone levels increase during glycogen depletion, aiding in muscle preservation. After 24-36 hours, the body enters deep ketosis, utilizing fat as its primary energy source. During deep ketosis, insulin levels reach their lowest point, maximizing fat breakdown. Autophagy, a cellular cleanup process, becomes more active during this phase, recycling damaged components. The increased autophagy helps in recycling damaged proteins and cellular components, promoting cellular health. Autophagy becomes increasingly active within cells between 24 and 36 hours. The process of autophagy contributes to cellular repair and overall health. Inflammation markers may begin to decrease within this time frame. The reduction of inflammation markers supports cellular homeostasis. Intermittent fasting may improve insulin sensitivity, promoting better glucose metabolism. Cellular repair through autophagy is a potential benefit of intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting can reduce inflammation, potentially lowering the risk of chronic diseases. Increased fat burning is observed during intermittent fasting due to metabolic shifts. Potential side effects of intermittent fasting include hunger, fatigue, and dizziness.